Uh, dear parents, uh, carers and students, uh, my name is Yogesh Mani. I'm the principal um, of Goulburn High School. In this presentation, I will take you through information about stage five course requirements, record of school achievement, minimum standards tests, stage five pattern of study, electives offered at Goulburn High School, tips on how to choose electives, and an overview on how to submit um, electives. A record of school achievement, ROSA, is a cumulative um, credential certificate which contains a student's record of academic achievement up until the date they leave school. ROSA is um, awarded to students who leave school after year 10 and before completing the HSC. It is a cumulative um, credential. It records academic achievements up until the date the student leaves school and it is based on moderated uh, school-based assessments. While formal ROSA credentials are for school leavers, all year 10 and 11 students will be able to access their results electronically on students online. Here you can see a record of school achievement um, example. Stage 5 course requirements by NESA. Students must have satisfactorily completed the mandatory curriculum requirement by NESA and they need to follow the course developed or endorsed by NESA and have completed courses of study that satisfy education standards curriculum and assessment requirements for ROSA. The students must meet school attendance requirements and the students who leave school before year 10 um, are not eligible for a ROSA. If students leave after year 10 and still don't meet ROSA requirements, they will be issued with a transcript of um, study. And determinations or in awards are issued if you do not complete the course requirements in one or more of the following areas. Attendance, participation um, in assessment and in-class in in coursework, sustained efforts, learning outcomes. Students are first warned via a letter aimed to give the student time to complete the course requirements if a student receives an end determination in a mandatory curriculum requirement course, they will not be eligible for ROSA. Students need to meet a minimum standard of, standard of literacy and numeracy to receive the higher school certificate. From year 10, students are given opportunities to sit the online minimum uh, standard test in reading, writing and numeracy. Students are deemed to have reached the minimum standard if they achieve level three or above of the Australian skills framework on each online test. The stage five curriculum pattern of study. In stage five, the following subjects are mandatory, English, mathematics, science, PDHPE, history, and geography. Students are also able to study uh, elective courses. Elective 1 is a 200-hour course, elective 2 is a 200-hour course, and elective 3 is a 100-hour course, but it's only studied in year 9. Students also study work education in year 10. Here at Goldman High School, we offer a range of electives. The courses are included in your prospectus. So in a nutshell, you need to choose two 200-hour courses. These courses run for two years, that's in year nine and year 10, and 100-hour course. You will also have to choose reserve electives just in case you don't get your preferred elective choice. When choosing electives, wise subject choices are made on the basis of one ability. So you choose subjects that you are good at and interest 
which means you choose subjects in which you are interested. Remember to select subjects carefully as most courses extend over two years. How you choose your electives are important because one third um, it's of, of the school week, which is about 15 periods, will be taken up studying the electives. Remember to complete the online form and return it by the due date. It's very, very important. And failure to complete the form on, on time might mean that you'll miss out on your course selections. To complete the online form, all students will receive a selection sheet with login details, in, including a code. Make your selections and then copy them onto the back of your form. In this slide, you'll see an example of the um, online selection form. We will aim to give you your first selection choices, but if there are insufficient numbers in a particular course, it may not run. Also, you may miss out on your first choice because the course is already full. You will be notified of your selections before the end of the term. Remember your important contacts, including your year advisor, careers advisor, and your year deputy principal. If you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to um, contact me. Very happy to assist you. Thank you.